hello welcome to my youtube channel thank you for stopping by thank you thank you thank you if today is your first time you're welcome um, in today's recipe i'll be showing you how i make my egusi soup so in here we have the stock fish so what i do is anytime i'm gonna cook and i need a stock fish what i do is i boil it the night before the day and leave it in the water so by the next day that i'm gonna use it it will be very soft and easier to cook so we'll be needing some beef smoked turkey cow foot boiled and deboned i have boiled and deboned this cow food some bell, a bell pepper onion scotch bonnet pepper palm oil this palm oil was sent from nigeria and you know how it is here is very cold so that's why it's like this some melon what i have here is three and a half cups of melon some smoked fish, ogiri egusi, ogiri egusi, ogu leaf. So, what we'll do is because we don't see this every now and then, whenever we get to see it, we buy, wash, and put in the freezer. That's why it's like this. This is the frozen one. Um, and some Uziza leaf frozen too so let's get cooking so the the first thing I'm gonna do is to put the smoked turkey and the smoked mackerel back in the oven because I want them to get a bit more dry than the way it is looking so the next thing I'll be doing is to go ahead and blend this So let's get cooking. In the stock fish, I will add the beef and let them cook. Add the beef and uh, season it and let it cook. The beef will have to cook for some time before I add in the cow food because already this cow food has been boiled and deboned.
here. I'm going to go ahead and fry the egusi. So to do that, I will heat up the pot, add the oil, then once it's heated up, I will add the pepper mix, the pepper mix which I blended before. So the oil is heated and I'm gonna go in with the pepper mix. While the pepper mix is cooking, I will mix the melon, I will mix it with water. You see what I mean? We'll mix it with water. water is going to help it cook by the time I put it in there it's gonna help it cook properly so what I added is about let me see is about one cup of water into the three and a half cups of the goosey that I blended So by the time the egusi goes in there, it's going to take some time. You need to exercise patience at this stage because you need to keep stirring and stirring so that it doesn't get burned. And to notice that it is cooked, you will start seeing oil floating on top of it. You will see what I mean in a short time. So this has cooked for two minutes and it's time to add in the seasoning cube. This time around, I'm adding in this Maggi cube. Remember when I added the seasoning cube in the meat and the stuffed fish? It's no cube. I like to use like two types of seasoning cube. That way I build flavor. Just like you use assorted meat to cook to build flavor. So 
just the same thing with me using two types of seasoning cubes so i'm adding in the maggi cube in this next i will add in the a goosey that i missed earlier and fry So after I added the egusi, the melon into the pepper mix that I was I fried earlier, this is what it looks like. So for you to know that it's cooked, you will start seeing oil on top of it. Please make sure you keep stirring. This stage needs patience. Make sure you stir and stir and stir to avoid it burning. So the stockfish and the beef has been cooking and uh, it's time to add in the cow food. So as you can see the egusi is nicely fried and it's looking like lumps just the way I wanted it. So so many people do ask me how do you make egusi have this kind of texture? It's just a tiny secret mixing your blended egusi with water before frying it gives you this lump nature. But when you don't mix it with water, you just add it, you just fry it like that straight away. You won't get it. It will just look flat. Okay? So you just mix it with water and here you have it. And the turkey and the dry fish are ready. Next, they will be going into the main pot. So this is ready, so we're going to go ahead to add in the crayfish. The ogiri egusi. This is how it looks. So we're going to go ahead and add the egusi.
also because um, the turkey and the smoked fish they are already seasoned in fact you can actually eat them like this so that's why they are coming in now we are going to This is it. I'll have to give it a stir now. And at this point, I will add in the Uziza leaf and Ugu leaf. That is the Uziza leaf. And next, I will add the ogu leaf and we are done. Point, the heat is on the lowest. I just give it a stir and it's done. of your choice you can't go wrong with it not at all dim gave waited this night I got on a chin your mug in your mia oh my goodness oh my goodness Egusi soup, shakara egusi soup. <laughs> Be sure to try out this recipe. Oh my goodness! You can eat this with any swallow of your choice: pounded yam, gari, fufu, plantain. Just name it. With oh, it will go just fine. Subscribe to my channel. Give me thumbs up. Comment below. 
and i will see you in my next video thank you thank you thank you for watching and god bless you bye, -bye.